first thing. That means anybody can uh, now see the source code. If your software is open source, that means anybody can distribute it, redistribute it, do what it, uh, almost do anything with it. I mean, they can modify it, sell it, and they don't have to pay you anything. Source code. The program must include source code and must allow distribution in source code as well as compiled form where uh, some form of a product is not distributed with source code there must be well publicized meaning of obtaining it uh, basically you know it means that source code should be available for that program if you declare it as open source for example I will create a media player which plays all kinds of audio and, and video and what I will do is I will release the source code and, and say that okay this is an open source software that means by saying that I'm also telling them that okay here is a source code which you can use it download it from the internet and you don't have to pay me anything and that also means that I cannot uh, you know, give you the wrong code I mean I cannot say that okay it's a I cannot give you 100% of the code I can only show you 90% of the code or 10% of the code or I will alter the source code a little bit and give it to you saying that okay this is a source code no I cannot do that deliberately and intermediate forms or maybe I, I will give you a different version of the same code no that is not allowed third one derived works the license must allow modifications and derived works and must allow them to be distributed on the same terms as the license of the original software that means you can the my media player that I have designed you can take it derive it I mean you can take some ideas from it or you can take the entire source code from it and add some things to it and e and you can redistribute that you know whatever the new modified software that you have from my software or from my source code under the same license that I did integrity of the author's source code the license may restrict source code from being distributed in modified form only if the license allows the distribution of patch files with the source code for the purpose of modifying the program at build time the license must explicitly permit distribution of software built from modified source code the license may require derived works to carry a different name or version number from the original software that means you I can go ahead and now and tell you that you cannot just now let's say I mean I have a Red Hat is of my operating system that's a you know, operating system for business purpose and I have designed it you know very carefully with you know, carefully chosen applications you cannot just copy it and you know say that okay I mean you can redistribute it all right because I mean I have I have put such a clause because I also want to survive right uh, however since it's open source you can use all my ideas and you can create your own okay from the source code and and you can you can have a different name to it so the best example would be CentOS CentOS or CentOS this you no know, derived from Red Hat or Ubuntu derived from Debian no discrimination against persons or groups I'll just give you an example with it I designed a software and I let's say I include a clause saying this software should not be modified okay should not modified okay I should have added a B there BE my mistake should not be modified or distributed to the users of Aussie Linux because that was developed by Australia and I don't like them since they always defeat India in cricket even though I like both of them Australia I mean they have a good players so they give a good show too right they give a they entertain I'm just giving you an example I cannot include such clause saying that I don't like I mean hope I don't like Red Hat so my software should not be used for Red Hat users or it cannot be distributed to them or I, I don't want you know any Brazilian to use my software that is stupidity and you can't do it so sixth no discrimination against field or endeavor that means I cannot say that okay you cannot use it in a chemistry lab or a botany lab the software or you cannot you cannot use it in engineering or you cannot use it for learning purpose there is no such discrimination of fields here there is no discrimination of persons or groups here no discrimination of fields of endeavor distribution of license rights attached to the program must apply to all 
to whom the program is redistributed without the need for execution of an additional license by those parties. That means if I modify an open source software, then I cannot change the license terms of usage. Uh, usage, but however, they can they should be the same as the original source code of software, unless the let's say I have designed a media player. You take my source code and you develop it, redistribute, change it, and you cannot give different rights to it. Okay, you cannot. Uh, the, they should be released under the same terms and conditions that I have defined because that is my original source code. So there you go. License must not be specific to a product. That means I cannot say that you know. Okay, these the uh, these product. If my source code is used in the product A, you know they can uh, you know uh, s sell it and uh, or use it for commercial purpose. Or if they uh, you know if they uh, if the persons use my source code to the product B or operating system B, they cannot commercialize, but they have to give it for free. I cannot do that. That is partiality. I cannot do that. Nine license must not restrict other software. That means the license must not place restrictions on other software that is distributed along with the license software. For example, the license must not insist that all other programs distributed on the same medium must be open source software. That is very important because, uh, let's say, um, there is um, a software. Okay, uh, let's say there is a new game. Uh, there's a new game called uh, okay any game. Let's uh, let's take. Uh, need for speed okay there's a new need for speed game in that uh, they need uh, uh, they th okay they come to know that okay there is a very good open source software which can increase the frame rate okay of the games you know we want to use it right so they want to you know include that in their game in their software but if you have put a class saying that okay whatever that is being distributed with my software should be open source too so they that means they have to give their game for free to anyone that is something which is you know <laughs> not possible right so that kind of a you know stupid clauses should not be there tenth license must be license must be technology neutral that means no provision of the license may be predicated on any individual technology or style of interface I think we covered a, a slightly different version of it but yes open source the source code is open to all with read write execute plus modify rights for free that, of course that is my definition or that is my understanding example is open source .org. what is a closed source closed source means there is a source code is not available to all uh, with any read write execute or modify rights for example Microsoft Office where it has net backup software free software Okay, there is a free software is AVG antivirus free home edition for Windows or super anti spyware free home edition for you know, Windows again. You don't know the source code, but they are free, but they are not open source. So please, guys, don't confuse with open source, closed source, and free software. And there is one more called source available. Um, I think what is source available? If it's source is available, it is for like money or something. Well, it is just almost kind of like that. A source is viewable for only references, but not allowed to modify or change unless such rights are pur purchased from the user, from that maker. Right? That means I can I have I have a media player. You can come and look at my uh, source code. All right? Then if you satisfy, if you think, okay, oh, okay, it's, it's really good. You know what I'm? What I want to do is I I think it, this is really a good software. Really, you know very stable media player what I will do is I will go ahead and now and contact my boss I'll tell them and I will tell them to purchase the source code or buy rights for this source code so for that kind of stuff source is available there but you cannot modify it change unless I give you the rights Linux commonly pronounced as Linux or Linux right the next is Unix based or Unix like platform or software and it will always be because when they were creating Linux their main motto or aim was that uh, create a Unix compatible operating system or software which is made up completely free software. The next 
is open source of course that goes without saying most of uh, some of the uh, most famous 